Well, hey everybody, it's Sandy and welcome back to my channel dedicated to helping you advocate for your own health one topic at a time. Today I'm going to talk about gloves, the use of disposable gloves, but before that I wanted to um, add a brief addendum to my previous video which I did on masks and actually what was my own, I think my own original idea, I know it was my idea, I don't think anybody came up with it earlier, um, which is in the in the days of having to do makeshift masks, I recommended using these disposable ice packs that have the little plastic Ziploc bag inside for ice. You can take that out. You can put anything in the middle that you want in the way of a filter. Um, and it just looks like kind of a large uh, surgical mask. Um, and then I did talk about some tips about common problems like getting it to fit around the nose. And I, I'm going to link that video in the description box below if you didn't check it out. I, I think um, if you're interested in this kind of thing, I, I think it'd be a good one to check out. Um, but I did want to add an addendum um, to the mask in case I didn't drive the point home enough, which was that you're always putting on the mask with clean hands and taking it off with clean hands. Um, but I want to emphasize a little bit more on the taking off part, okay? So um, again, masks can be a source of touching your face and you don't really want that. So again, you're going to wash your hands really well. If you're going to put on a mask, then you put on the mask, do whatever you're going to do, and then no more touching your face. When it's time to take the mask off, because now you're going to touch around your face, you're going to wash your hands, okay? Then you take the mask off, and now let's say you've just taken it off. So this is presumably dirty. You put it down wherever it's going to go. If it's a scarf, it's going in the wash machine. Wherever it's going to go, you put that down. Now you're done with it. You wash your hands again, because even though they were clean when you took it off, then you touched this, okay? And the whole point of wearing it is because we're kind of assuming it might be, it's definitely protecting other people more than you, but it's somewhat protecting you as well. Um, and anything that's dirty then requires you to wash your hands and not go back to this. Um, so that's what I wanted to add about the mask. In addition, one more thing, which is I see sometimes uh, there's all these funny things that go around on in the way of pictures on social media, lay people who aren't used to masks. Sometimes they'll do this. Okay, you put the mask on like this because you don't want it over your nose. Well, that doesn't help. Okay, this mask does not just protect the people around us from our coughing or sneezing. We are also shedding respiratory droplets just when we breathe and just when we talk, okay? So if you are in a situation where um, it's you've decided it's a good idea to wear a mask, it really should cover the nose and the mouth just like I showed in my previous video, okay? Um, I think that's all I've got to say about the mask. I I'd really be interested in your guys' um, reactions to what you, know, what you thought about that idea for the uh, disposable ice packs. So um, on to the next topic of uh, donable, disposable, protective wear, gloves. These are just some, you know, basic, almost one size fits all. I think they come in small and medium. This is a medium. It's a little big for me. Um, I use these in my kitchen and when I clean sometimes. I, I always have a pack of these around. But um, I think that some people don't understand with the gloves, um, they're doing some things the way they're using the gloves that really can put themselves at risk and even other people. So I just want to talk a little bit about how you'd use gloves and properly putting them on and taking them off. So these are not meant to be like sterile gloves. They're not like when in surgeons in the operating room, there's a very specific way they put the gloves on because there there's not only an absence of pathogens, there's an absence of anything good, bad. There's just, you know, no germs at all. They're sterile, not clean, okay? So that's a very special way. And we're not doing anything sterile. But you can think of it as in sort of a similar way that we think of a sterile field where something is either sterile or not. So let's say your gloves are either clean or not. And at any given time, you got to think about whether your gloves are clean or dirty. And there's really nothing in between. Okay. So you you don't want to be one of these people that goes around to the grocery store and then like, I had a friend tell me that she her grocery store parking lot is like littered with these gloves. People must just take them off and throw them down in the parking lot or something. It's just awful. So you know, let's not be in the midst of a pandemic and then make all kinds of new problems for our whole communities. Um, the gloves will protect you some, okay? Uh, I think one of the problems, though, with wearing gloves is that they can offer a false sense of security where then you're not washing your hands, okay? And you start to think too much about yourself, and then you're not thinking about the community at large. So if you just wear these gloves all day, okay, if I just walk around, if I have to go places, I'm really practicing pretty strict social isolation right now, but sometimes people have to go places or they have to go out shopping for themselves. I personally prefer to have things delivered right now, but, you know, there are times that you just can't always be sure that you're going to have that social distancing and you have to go places, and that's where the mask and maybe the gloves come in. So, 
Um, yeah, if you just wear these all the time and everything you do, um, you just have these on, you might be protecting your hands. You could be putting yourself at more risk because you eventually these will become like your hands where you don't think about them that much and you will be touching things like this, tucking your hair, even adjusting your mask, okay, which <laughs> these are dirty. You really don't want to do that. Um, and then also you might be, you know, contaminating other things for other people. So I really don't think that gloves are something that you should use as a tool with this pandemic to just have on all the time. Okay, I've heard of people doing that, you know, and I just, I don't think it sounds like a smart idea. I, I think in terms of anything that you touch, hand washing is the best thing. And then when you're hand washing there, that you don't longer have that issue about what you're spreading and putting where and what you're making dirty because gloves will never make anything clean. Okay, it's either neutral or they'll make things dirty. Okay, so I could see situations though where I would use it. Like, I don't think it's a bad idea to wear gloves when you're in the grocery store. Um, I know they say wipe down the grocery cart and there's usually those wipes in the entrance to the grocery store. And, you know, if you want to put on the gloves, that's fine because I think that, you know, anybody who buys anything at the grocery store these days should consider uh, and uh, any of those things having been touched by other people or sneezed near or coughed near or dirty, okay? Anything that comes into your home, and I did another video on that a while back about COVID-19 and bringing things into your home and um, what... I have just real simple ways that I deal with that. So when you're in the grocery store, yeah, let's assume all those things are already contaminated. I, I don't think you have any particular responsibility in the store to keep anything there clean because it isn't clean anyway. So maybe you wanna put the gloves on and then you wanna go around, do your shopping, pick something up, pick up a carton to read it, you know, put it back down, that kind of thing. But now you have to decide when these gloves are coming off, right? So are you going to continue um, to the register and now you're going to reach into your bag or reach into your pockets and get your wallet out and hold your credit card and put that in the machine and then get your car keys? Um, you know, because your hands are dirty by the time you're done with the shopping. That's why you were wearing the gloves to protect you from everything that everybody else touched. So I'm not going to say when I think you should do that. I, I think I would probably get rid of the gloves at the point where I had to start digging into my own personal belongings. And no, no matter which way you do it, it's not perfect. Um, and there's no really right answer. But my point is you have to decide when these gloves come off, okay, how to take them off, and then how you might behave until such time as you can wash your hands properly, okay? Because once you take them off... Um, yeah, your hands were clean underneath, kind of, but the act of taking them off spreads a little bit. There is some contact, and now you're still in contact with other surfaces, unless you're not taking the gloves off until you get in the house, in which case you've worn them all over your car. And so I'm going to assume uh, that this just is an example. You're at the grocery store, and you're going to do it like I, I envision I would do it, which is when I'm done shopping and I'm ready to get to the register, that's probably when these gloves um will come off. So what will I do? I'll have an extra bleach wipe with me. So when I walk into the stores, I take two of those wipes. One I wipe down the cart with right away and I use the cart and I've got the gloves on. I put the gloves on and then I go about my shopping. So the gloves now are dirty because I've been touching all kinds of items in the store and I've been pushing that grocery cart with them, right? So that grocery cart's not really clean anymore, okay? Um, so when I get to the register, I get to a point where I decide I'm going to take off the gloves. I will find a trash can. I'm not going to go out to the parking lot. And how do you how are you going to take these off so that your hands aren't all dirty now? Okay. So um, the best thing to do is usually these are a little bit loose. Okay. These are not like surgeon's gloves where they're a specific size. You know, usually they've got some gifts. So you can take the first one off just like that. Now this hand is cleaner than that one. Okay. And the best thing to do is just reach in underneath. If you can, kind of walk your fingers up and turn it inside out, okay? There you go. You could even pull the underside because that was the side that was next to your hand. Hopefully, you did that over a trash can, okay? So now you're going to use your hands for to get out your credit card and things, and you're also now going to take your bags and stuff. So your hands aren't really clean anymore, and it's really important to sort of just make a mental note of anything else you're touching or getting into, Preferably, you're having minimum contact um, with, you know, only things that are necessary. You're going to get home. 
you know, you drive home in your car, get home, and you're going to wash your hands, okay? And then after I'd, wa this is what I would do, it's a little redundant, but I would wash my hands before I do anything else, and then I would go deal with bringing the packages into the house. And as soon as I got those things squared away, of course I would have to wash my hands again, because those are all the items that we just said were not clean, okay? But I would definitely want to do that hand washing twice, because I wouldn't want to walk into the house with all these things, touch every doorknob, every light switch, um, and have these things, you know, make everything else dirty, okay? So I would wash my hands first, then I would deal with all the things coming in from the car, and then I would wash my hands again when I'm all done. Okay, so, you know, that's just one example. One scenario is going to the store, okay? I've heard people say that they, you know, with COVID-19, they're cleaning their house, and they're, you know, I don't always clean my house with these gloves, okay? Because I think that, again, it just sort of, I think it's more likely um, to spread all kinds of what's dirty onto things that are clean, I think it's more likely to do that than it is to protect me if I'm just washing my hands. Now, if I have a task that's particularly dirty, yes, I will wear gloves. So, you know, if you're scrubbing out the toilet with the brush, you know, um, yeah, you're holding the handle of the brush, but still, okay, but then that's the only task and then these get taken off right away and I still wash my hands. Um, now, if your hands are getting dry from all the hand washing with the um, with the COVID-19 pandemic, or if let's say you have a cut on a finger, uh, this is something I've done even outside of the COVID-19 pandemic. Sometimes yeah, I have a cut on one finger and I've got a Band-Aid around it, and now I've got to do some work in the kitchen. And I know like the frequent having to hand wash and then do something and then hand wash again and the band-aid's going to come loose and I just don't want to, you know, do all that stuff repeatedly. Well, then what I might do is I might put on a glove or even two, okay, but definitely the one where the hand is hurt and if my hands are dry, two, okay, um, clean hands underneath, of course, and then just do my regular tasks and in between dirty and clean, like if I crack an egg open, let's say, in which I would normally wash my hands, I'll wash my hands with the gloves on. Um, you have to be real thorough and you have to probably pay a little more attention to it than you do if washing um, bare hands because there's all these crevices inside of gloves and wrinkles and you don't want to leave any soap or any areas dry. But it's very doable. And um, Sometimes I actually have some gloves that go up a little bit higher and they're a little bit better for that so the water doesn't leak down in from around the wrists. But you can wash your hands with the gloves on, wash them really well, rinse them, dry them, and now you've got clean gloved hands again. Um, relatively. So that's another way I might use them. But what I would not do is just kind of mindlessly have them on all the time because I think there's just more likely that you're going to be um, moving dirty on to clean. Okay. And I also think that it kind of, I, this is just me, but I, I think it sort of allows you to not really think about other people around you so much, you know, because you're so busy thinking about protecting your own hands under here. And I, I think it's important that we are focused on a whole community, you know, not just ourselves with this pandemic. So, um, you know, I don't think there's as much place for the gloves as there are for these masks, um, given this COVID-19 pandemic, but I definitely think there is a place for it. I personally, if I had to go to a store, if I had to go um, to the pharmacy or I had to go to the grocery store or something, I think I would go ahead and use these. And then, like I said, before checkout, before I have to start digging into my own personal stuff, take them off and just recognize from that time on, my hands are not totally clean um, and wash as soon as I get home. Okay, so um, that was my short and sweet um, video on gloves. I wonder if you guys have any other ideas or suggestions and I'd love your feedback. And I just wanna say thank you. I've noticed I had some new subscribers lately. I hear people like having their own little celebrations. They get to 100,000 subscribers. So I'm, I'm coming up on 100. I'm hoping to get to 100. Um, <laughs> but it's not really the numbers. I mean, every one of them, I, I enjoy the interaction, those who interact with me. Um, I'm glad that people are interested in the topics of uh, content. And um, I hope I continue to have things that I might add that are helpful to people. Um, so I really appreciate if you just share this with anybody you think um, might find it helpful. And um, until next time, be safe. Bye-bye.